Okay. So thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for your time. Firstly, um, this is uh, it's quite busy as we can see this interview. So my first question is: um, Have you have any of you uh, ever invested some time trying to learn a language? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. So is that all of you have learned Japanese? Wow. Okay. Uh, and so, how long was it that you stuck to that path? How long did you try and learn Japanese? Whoa. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. Did Latin? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you guys must be pretty good at Japanese then. No. Okay. Well, we are looking to solve the the, the problems for people like you, effectively, and make it as easy as possible. So, my my next question is: Whoops. Try not to fall over and die. Um. What is my next question? What's the next question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, when you stopped learning, crucially, what was the reason that you stopped learning for? <laughs> right. So it was boring. Was one. They don't make it very interesting. Right. I see. When you're studying, you must sort of procrastinate and get stuck. Sometimes. Yeah. When does that happen? Like, what makes you stop? Half the time. Okay. Now, so I'm getting the impression that you did a lot of solitary study. Did you? Was that was that the case? Do you, how, how would you feel? Would you think things would have gone differently if um, if you'd have been practicing with people, with Japanese people, uh, or with Japanese people potentially learning English? Oops. Sorry, madam. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much, guys. That's been. So okay. Oh well. Thanks for your time. Um, what was your name? Sorry. VJ. VJ. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Um, so VJ, I was wondering, um, have you ever tried to learn uh, a language uh, other than uh, your mother tongue before? Oh yeah. What What was that? Tamil. All oh, right. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. And how long did you uh, spend learning that, and did you stop? Right. Okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Could, would you mind speak, saying that a bit louder? Sorry. I'd... Oh, that's okay. And so, when you stopped uh, learning, do, is it a continuous process? Did you are you still learning, or did you stop? No, I just uh, I can't really read or write, so yes, can speak because uh, second language, mother tongue, I know read and write. So second language, just only speak. I see what you mean. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, and then just one last question. Uh, did you? Um, w what made you stop? Learning was it because it was? Uh, was it? Uh, actually, it's just not learning. It's very really important when I do this on my display. So just uh, all the time, and I with the people, just face to face, speak. So that's the learning. I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's really kind. Of... Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> My mum actually got it for me, which is a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of message that sends out. Do you know what it is? What uh, it's often, I'm often in a situation where I don't ask, but uh, the uh, <laughs> it says tablet, homemade, whatever that is. Homemade tablets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll go for it. Um, so, uh, Christoph, I was wondering, um, have you ever tried to learn a language before? Yes. Okay, what, what was that language? I studied French in school. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and um, and did you, uh, did you uh, want to carry it on or...? Yeah, I think uh, living most of my life in the Anglosphere made that difficult. In where, sorry? In the English-speaking world. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, Anglosphere. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I've... Uh, 
go away and do that. I tried to learn a few other languages from girls that I've dated. Oh yeah, good. Uh, that's a good tactic. And I'm, I'm generally good at learning nouns, but uh, I don't have a step past the point of full fluency. I can get to where I can read a menu and learn some nouns, and then I've, I've never been committed enough to uh, speak properly and come to it. Yeah, okay. What, what do you think uh, was? What do you think made you stop or not get past that stage or sort of stall? And and what do you think was the main reason that you kind of let it go and, and other things took priority? There's probably a few reasons. Uh, the incentives for learning a lot of other languages maybe weren't there for me. I mean, I didn't have uh, my job on the line for learning it. I mean, I know some people who have who grow speaking English. A lot of a lot of times, the most successful people move to another country, or they had to work constantly and use the language uh, consistently. Uh, my sister was pretty good at, at, at French, and she uh, she worked tutoring, and so her job depended on. Then when she no longer tutored, her French really went. Um, Atrophy. I see. So, so it was the instrumental kind of, if it's part of your job and your work and it's a necessity. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. I, I mean, I, I think I should start maybe reading comic books or listening to foreign language radio. Then there'd be an incentive for me to understand. Okay. And I've, I've been meaning to do that. I haven't done that. Okay. If you had more of an opportunity to practice with people, uh, say there was a... Um, like uh, somebody you could do an exchange with or talk to very easily. Do you, do you think that would be of, of use to you? Or? Yeah, you mean um, like those exchanges on uh, Gumtree where you speak half an hour in one language and half an hour in the other? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah something um, like that. Yeah, I've never done that. I've heard about them and I think it's a great idea. Okay. Um, I think I'd have to get a little more confident yeah, it's before get- I would just of any use to anyone else. I see so what you mean. I, I need to maybe get some basics. Okay. I need to get up to that level before I consider that. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks, man. So, for, for the for the evidence, for so I wanted to know um, uh, why did you stop? Uh, why did you stop learning? What, what was it? Was it because it was boring or because it because was... it's finished uh, the course? Oh, I see. So you did it in school, did you? I don't understand. Did you study in school or university? Uh, no, uh, I studied English in a school okay. uh, for, for uh, studying English. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. And so after then it just stopped? Yes. And you didn't want to continue? No, the course Oops, uh, is the high level. I see. So you can achieve what you want to achieve. So you kind of finish. So, so you you don't want to learn any more English. No. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot. That's really kind of you. Cheers, mate. No. Have a lovely time in England. Nice. Thank. Um, sorry. What was your name? Uh, my name is Heinz. Oh, hi, Heinz. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Um, so, Heinz, you are Swiss, uh, and you your English is obviously fluent. Um, I wondered if I could ask you how how, how in your experience of learning languages. Um, uh, how, how many languages have you tried to learn? Well, I speak uh, Swiss German, uh-huh. uh, I speak High German, I speak uh-huh. French, and uh-huh. I speak English. Wow. And a little bit of Italian. Wow. Okay. Meraviglioso. Okay. Parlate anche italiano? Sì, si, un poco. Un po'? Ma, sempre meglio. Oh, va bene. Ogni volta. So, uh, um, so when you've learnt those languages, how long have you stuck to it, and and if you've kind of given up or it's stalled, what what do you think has 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 caused that process? Uh, English I learned uh, the best because I used it also for my work. Right. Uh, French I had to learn in school in Switzerland because it's uh, one of our official languages. Okay. So we didn't particularly like it, but, I, <laughs> we just but had somehow to. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I, and I speak, I like to speak French. Okay. But it's my school French. Oh great. Nothing okay. More than that. I never okay. spent time in France. Okay, that and makes sense. Italian, I love Italian, but I must confess, my Italian is not very good. My wife talks Italian much better. I don't know why, why it is. I just don't have enough time. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So I never really learned it, but I love it. I see. I, I think I learned languages best 
if I stay there uh, with uh, and have to work or I have to do something with people, uh-huh. but as a tourist, I don't think I learn anything. I see. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So it's the interaction with people. Uh, yes. Okay, that's important. All right, that is bloody fantastic. Thank. You. Okay, so um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, s- uh, en el pasado, um, I, um, hay um, um, probando de, de hay probado de uh, imparar uno un un idioma. De probar un idioma. Sí. Sí, exacto. Sí, um, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál idioma? Nosotros, nosotros como que en general tenemos básicamente obligatorio uh-huh. aprender inglés. Inglés, ok. Después tenés en el liceo, en la secundaria, uh-huh. en algunos colegios tenés italiano, en otros tenés un poco de, de francés. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Okay. Nosotros somos de Uruguay, entonces en Sudamérica. Ah, ok, entendido. Entre Argentina y Brasil. Entonces, también el portugués. Sí, y italiano. Uh, de argentino, un poco. Ok, ok, entendido, gracias. Ok, um, pues, um, uh, ¿cuándo, per, ¿cuánto tiempo um, habéis um, imp, uh, imparado la, la lengua? ¿Y por qué cru, crucialmente o crucialmente? Um, has has um, fermado fermado de um, terminado, terminado terminado exacto el tiempo que se, se, para aprender el idioma exacto eh, por qué uh, has terminado la estudiar. sí estudiar generalmente porque se prepara un examen internacional sí ah entendido ok muy bien Realmente se estima que el, el curso comprende, según la capacidad de cada uno, Ajá. entre un año y dos. Ah, igual, pero de 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 Uh-huh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, gracias. Um, eh, era, how do I say? Era muy um, útil para para nosotros. Gracias. Chao. Um, yeah, I think part of the reason why um, it's very easy. It's not just with me. I know from talking to other people, my friends, and so forth. Um, they try to teach themselves languages as well. And the reason that it often drops off, I think, is that. You don't get a lot of positive feedback very quickly. The sort of feedback loops are very long. So you maybe start learning a language with a high ambition to sort of be able to read a complicated book of literature in the language. But you never see, um, if you're just looking, studying from a, a self-study book by yourself, you don't really get much positive feedback. You don't get the rewards very soon. So you're sort of always working for a sort of abstract reward. Um, which is why I think working with someone else and actually being able to communicate with them and have conversations with them um, is very helpful because um, it sort of means you are getting the, the feedback loops, you're constantly being almost rewarded for your efforts as you go along. Okay, here we go. Well, Miles, thank you very much for uh, giving me this time. This is very kind of you. Um, I was wondering, um, so have you ever tried to learn languages or, or a language before? Um, mostly just at school. Uh, I did GCSE, French and German. I did uh, Latin to AS level. Okay. Um, in terms of self-study, a few sort of very brief schooling attempts, but beyond that, nothing else really. Okay, well, that's, go- that's great. Okay, so how... Um, could you talk a little bit more about your stalling attempts, how long they lasted? Um, uh, I suppose... <laughs> Maybe a couple of weeks at most. Um, okay. Sort of thing. So yeah, not not very long at all. That was sort of me trying to uh, say get a book or maybe use uh, a, a few word lists off the internet, say to sort of by myself doing it. Uh, I suppose uh, if I were to try language learning now, it would probably be quite helpful to work with another person. To do that. Um, so I'm sort of growingly realizing that for a lot of things, um, having another person, sort of, you're being pushed along by, but also pushing along, sort of in a reciprocal relationship, is quite helpful. Ah, okay, that's okay, that's interesting. And so what was it that can you if you can think back to it, what was it that made you start learning? 
And what was it that made you eventually stop? What was the reasons that you sort of tailed off and stalled? Uh, I suppose uh, just wanting to be able to, the idea of just being able to communicate more, communicate with other people or go to other countries and be able to communicate in people's native language, uh, even to read, say, news and so forth in other languages to get different perspectives or uh, have more literature accessible in the original language that the author was actually thinking in as they wrote it. Um, that's sort of why I wanted to get into it. Um, so that's how I got into it in terms of uh, how it fell off. I think it was pretty much just uh, the difficulty of, uh, with, other things, with, other, with other things going on, maintaining the consistent schedule of practice that's sort of necessary. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. So it was. So when you say difficulty, it was the, it was the schedule and the and the consistency and the. Okay. Would you say that you you found the experience quite? Was it? Uh, maybe a bit hard or a bit boring or a bit kind of... Yeah, I think definitely if you're sort of like by yourself, just with a book, um, it's quite dry because you're pretty much looking at words, you're trying to just uh, remember them. So maybe if you test, uh, sort of you're testing yourself a bit, that can be interesting. But I think definitely working with another person, probably having actual interaction going on um, with a lot of activities, not just languages, is very helpful. Okay, all right, thanks, man. That's have you, have either of you, just to get started, ever tried to learn a language? Yes. Okay. Uh, wh which language was it? Norwegian. Norwegian. Wow, that's out there. We haven't had that yet. Well, actually, no. I speak Norwegian, but uh, perfect. Wow. Okay. The process, learn the, the learning process, right from the start. Yeah. Okay. But I managed, and now I was trying to learn German. So, okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow. Well, this is. Well. <laughs> Why, um, what, what went? Why didn't go so well with the German? Well, I just don't have time. I mean, uh, okay. and I'm not, uh, I'm not putting 100% effort into learning the language, but uh, I really would like to learn it and speak it fluently. Amazing. Okay. So, um, so that's actually uh, one of the one of the key questions is. When, when your sort of German tailed off and stopped, what was the reason for that? What, what was it that time. time, it was mostly time. So convenience and time is a big problem for you. Okay, okay. Were there any other things you found hard about it? Like time was maybe the main thing. Um, Laziness. <laughs> is, there, is there what, sorry? Being lazy. Being lazy, okay. <laughs> In her case. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But uh, no, I thought uh, that. Um, well, no, it would be like I live in Norway, so uh, there's not many German-speaking people. I see what you mean. Even though you learn German at school, but uh, just people to uh, have a conversation with to uh, practice your. Uh, your language skills. Right, so German. that, right. So it's the, it's the availability of that. So so we've been getting two themes recently. Uh, one is like, pe for, for people that they just don't have the availability for, for, for talking with people. And the other is that um, they, they do, but it's, it's not absolutely necessary. So they can sort of get by without bothering. Would you say, I mean, you seem like a very accomplished kind of like switched on guy. Would you, you would say it was more the availability. So if you could access Germans, you would take that opportunity. Was that? I would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the impression I get. But then again, it comes, it all comes down to time. Yes. Okay. Having the time to, you know, uh, I don't join a course or even, even travel to Germany and take three months six months intensive course okay so if i were to say um that we'd built an app where you could just on the bus on the way to work quickly find somebody that spoke uh german but wanted to learn like norwegian skype. yes kind of skype with search and also some auto translation some kind of online classroom Dictionary. things that make the the whole process a lot a lot easier and um more more fluid do you think that might be of interest to you, or do you think you would actually use other products? And if so, what would those products be? Well, actually, I, I'm using a, one product. R oh, right. Okay. And it's called uh, Busu. Busu. Yeah, yeah, the tree you one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I tried that a few times, but uh, it's just, uh, like I said, well, <laughs> it's kind of like 
if I had the time, you know, like how how I, it's priority, you know. Yeah. I, uh, I have kids. I have family. Uh, job. I work. Uh, I work different hours, so uh, it's just. It's just really it's just hard really to fit hard it in. To find the, you know, the the motivation. Sometimes, you know, you come home, you're tired, you don't feel like doing it. Yeah, you said that makes a lot of sense. Why, why did you want to learn German? Um, uh, well, I really like Germany. I would probably at some point think about moving there. Cool. Living there for a while. Okay. Uh, it, and because I just like the language. Yeah. Okay. Great. I just find it very um, interesting. Okay. Can I ask what's your first language? Spanish. Spanish. That's ah. my native. Maybe. Okay. Um, and so how did you learn English? Did you just move there? No, I, I lived in the States for uh, nine years. So I went to high school, graduated high school there. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I moved to Norway. Okay. Hey, um, so thanks a lot. That's been really, really valuable. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Um, would you would, uh, would you mind if uh, I asked have, have you learned any languages or would you just English okay and you're still in the process of that right? okay and um, uh, what tools have you found that have been most instrumental and helpful so it's the people it's actually meeting the people and having that interaction yeah okay Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, and so if you were, if you had the opportunity, um, if you weren't in England, but you you had the opportunity to to easily on your phone or otherwise speak to a range of of uh, people that were English but wanted to learn your language, do you think would that be useful to you? Do you think that would be my language? My language. So, so what language is? Uh, did you? What is your mother tongue? Yeah. Czech. Czech. Okay. So, if there were a, a source of English speaking people that uh, wanted to learn Czech, um, or even just teachers of English that were very easily available to you on your phone or on your laptop, do you think that would be some a resource that you would use? Uh, either to help them or to learn English as as well with them. Okay, so maybe, maybe not. It's, you, you don't feel very strongly motivated to do that. So if you had the time, but... Oh, it depends if you help them or if I want to get help to learn. That's a bit different, right? Okay. <laughs> that's interesting because that's our two products, basically, isn't it? It's like one's a language exchange and one's a, a, a tutoring platform. So, so you would say you would go for tutoring, potentially. If somebody would need help, yeah. Oh, you would tutor them? No, I mean, if somebody would be interested in learning Czech, then probably would help. Right? If I have the time. And if it's English... And vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would be... So so you, you'd be happy to... Um, you'd be happy to exchange your time. Uh, so you might do, say, 10 minutes of... It will make it more interesting, you know? Like, to make it, make it like, interactive. You okay. Know, like, Okay. You know, it's like talking to to somebody, having a conversation. That's interesting. All right. Meeting new people. I mean, yeah. You also have to be uh, interested in meeting people. Yes. If, if you're not interested, if you're not comfortable with meeting people, and you could do this. Yeah. 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 That's you know, that's crucial. Because you'd be shy, you know, to show yourself on the screen. Yeah. I would help, but I wouldn't go for help. You wouldn't go for help. That's interesting. Okay. That's like the opposite of what we thought. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, because you feel shy. Everyday situation, something Is that because you'd be afraid to talk yeah, to should new people? Yeah, you'd be afraid people. in a way, yeah. I, yeah. If somebody would be interested to learn Czech and I can help, I would yeah. help. I yeah. would not be shy, but if I need help, I would do it another way. Okay. That's right. I see, yeah. Okay. That's, okay. That's interesting. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Um, so, I promise this is my last question, but that's not an answer we've had today. 
and I feel like that's something where so what possible tool or or aid might sort of make that shyness sort of soften it a bit or aid it or kind of is there anything we could build or kind of suggestions so we thought about having like you know say there were little goals that you needed to communicate and if you got stuck after 30 seconds it would give you a phrase like you know um, could you say that a bit more slowly or it would give you a clue as to what you were going to say like is there any things that jump out to you that might make that maybe it's just a, a, a social thing maybe if there's anything that it's mainly a social thing yeah okay uh, at least for me right yes okay because i'm interested in people so uh, meeting new people different cultures and learning a new language well that's the basic right into uh, getting to know the culture or the people so uh, yeah well, what tools what tool oh. aid yeah maybe it's not even a tool uh, Million dollar question, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, what what's have been done? What's what's out there? You know, I mean, basically, uh, that's the question. Really, what's what can you uh, offer? What's new and innovative? Uh, yeah. What's not out there? You know, it's like. Have been done? Yeah, we've certainly well, got a got lot of. This. I mean, you got all this, like music, for example. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, you can you can actually interact with people in Musa, and you can talk, you can type, you can uh, use the uh, screen. I mean, video conversation. Yeah. Can you? I didn't know that. Busu, you can you can I'm talk. Sure, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, so what's what's really uh, what else is there? Okay. Well, I mean, that's been that's yeah, that's fantastic. All right. Well, well, thanks a lot, guys. That's yeah, that's been really, really helpful.